But 10 with temperatures outside climbing even high, higher, a local dermatologist is now sending a warning to people with dark skin to wear sunscreen. It's even more of a concern as deaths from skin cancer spike among people of color. Brittany Dion has more on this trend tonight. Brittany? Well, Steve Catherine, Dr. Marion Northington says people of color are more likely to die of skin cancer, even though they account for very few cases. Even though darker skin patients only account for about one to 2% of skin cancers, they have the highest proportion and highest likelihood of dying from skin cancer because they're not expecting it. Dr. Marion Northington with dermatologists of Birmingham says skin cancer in people of color is not detected early enough. So they're not going in for routine skin checks and they're not expecting that they're going to have skin cancer. And so if a melanoma is found, a lot of times it's found after it's progressed. Dr. Northington says to look for changes in your skin. Well, anything new, anything irregular, anything that is dark, more than one color, changing color, losing colors, things that are bigger than a diameter, asymmetric, weird borders, those all need to be checked. And especially if there is a type of a dark pigmentation that's on the palms or soles, that's really the highest risk of melanoma in darker skin patients. To help prevent skin cancer, wrinkles, dry skin, dark spots, and other issues, she says it's important to protect yourself from the sun by wearing sunscreen, no matter how dark your skin is. Our rule is always SPF 30. I like something with a physical blocker like zinc oxide just because it lasts longer because it's reflecting rays instead of absorbing them and getting broken down. Now, Dr. Northington says also you want to wear hats, stay in shaded areas, and stay inside between 10 and 4 o'clock if you can. Back to you, Steve.